Hello everybody, put your headphones on and turn the lights off, because we are going to the one, the only, Build-A-Book Workshop. Y you remember when uh, you were a kid and uh, your mom wouldn't let you go to Build-A-Bear Workshop? It's like, no, you need to grow up sooner or later, even though you were only 21. Well, here we have the Build-A-Book Workshop, where all your book needs will come true. Now, I have these pair of boots in my inventory that I want to make them special. I want to make them mine. And I don't want to just put them in an enchantment table. I want to make my very own book to put on to these very special boots of mine. So, uh, as you can see when we walk in, as we walked in, there's a bunch of different enchantments on the wall, along with buttons corresponding to what they to selection and then we also have a level selection now what do I want to put on these boots you know I haven't seen looting two boots ever so I'm just gonna do that and eventually we get our book looting two very nice what else what else would be nice you know it, it'd be really cool if I could uh, just take off my boots and hit people with them so I'm gonna go ahead and get a sharpness 5 book. That'd be pretty cool, right? Anytime now. <laughs> Thank you. Sharpness 5, very good. But you know what? I changed my mind. I want I want sharpness 4. Yeah, let's get sharpness 4. Where is it? There it is. Uh, it's so nice creating a book. It's probably the best experience you'll ever have. There we go, sharpness 4. Hmm, what else do I want? Well, I definitely need Feather Falling, so let, let's get Feather Falling 2. Why not? Hmm, what else? Uh, respiration would be nice. Uh, I, I think I'm going to get Respiration 3 on this. Because it'd be real nice to just put these boots on my head and just be able to breathe underwater with them. That'd be awesome. Hmm. What else? What else? Hmm. You know, uh, I do catch a lot of boots while I'm fishing, so uh, maybe I can start using these boots for a little bit of catching back. So let's go ahead and get some lure on this, too. And what's this up here? This says thorns? Eh, I don't really like thorns. Thorns aren't the best. Very good, lure two. Everything looks good. Alright, let's build this book. So we want to put looting two. And sharpness 4 on it. And Feather Falling 2 on it. And Respiration 3 so I can breathe underwater with my boots. And Lure 2 so I can go fishing with them. Now let's just add the boots. Perfect. My dreams have now come true with this magical leather boots book that I made. Ha, ah, life is good. Welp. Now that that pathetic excuse for acting is over, uh, let's go ahead and go outside and take a look at this redstone. So, this is the whole building. Uh, d just ignore that for now. I'll, I'll get to that later. This is the whole building. Uh, this is on ice. Packed ice, that is. And it goes all the way around. Well, I'm going all the way around. And in the back here, we have the lovers. These are the five levers that you activate and they go up here and they get staggered and yeah <laughs> alright so here's how it works so basically behind each of these torches is the buttons uh, now this is fire protection blast protection I don't remember it doesn't really matter though so if we go up the torch tower it keeps going up and up and up and eventually it'll get to this point where these torches will be vertical well Ignore ignore everything past this first torch, because this is all isolated into one button. And here we have the repeater, which is going directly into this specific uh, dispenser. And it goes this way, all the way up, fire protection 2, 3, 4. There's no fire protection 5, so don't worry about it. <laughs> now... If we just hit the button like it is right now with no level selected, nothing's going to happen. This is because I have it set up in a way where the dispensers are always powered, uh, no matter what. 
until you hit the button. So let's take a look back here. So this is pretty much just a smaller version of it. Uh, it's not really hooked up to anything. It's not really hooked up to, to any levers or anything. So nothing to worry about for me. Woo -woo. <laughs> All right. So here's how it works. So there's a dispenser here. Or not a dispenser, but this is where the torch would meet the repeater up here. Uh, let's see. This is this is more of an, of an example. So the torch meets the repeater right here and goes right into the dispenser. And when we hit the button, is there something in there? Yep. Okay. So if we hit the button, it'll go off and it'll turn on. And that's when it gets dispensed. However, it didn't get dispensed because the dispenser was already powered. So... We just have to knock out this torch and press the button and nothing happened. Here's why. <laughs> uh, this above dispenser is actually powering this bottom dispenser via a bud switch. So this this uh this line of redstone is powering this line of dispensers. However, uh, invisibly, this line of dispensers is also powering this line of redstone. So think of these as a bunch of redstone blocks. And all these redstone blocks are powering this redstone that's underneath of it. However, the, the redstone isn't lighting up because, you know, that's not how redstone works. But it is being powered. So if we take out this torch, now both lines are unpowered. And we hit the button. And boom, it gets dispensed. And let's just take another look at that. So when the repeater goes off and then comes back on, that's when the that's when the book gets dispensed. And it's pretty it's pretty simple. It's not it's not a it's not a complicated concept. So back here, if I go ahead and flip a lever, you can see back here that this line, so I just activated the level two lever. Uh that's the one that's off. So it'll deactivate the level 2 line, and it'll deactivate the level 3 line. However, the level 3 line won't get activated because the level 4 line is still activated. And that's, that's, a, that's something that took me a really long time to figure out. I really could not figure it out. And I think I already explained that Thorns is up here because I couldn't fit it on the wall. Alright, so I think that's just about it. That's, that's, that's all I have to show for this. Uh, if you really wanted to, you can flip all these levers and get efficiency 1 through 5. I actually have them in my inventory right now, <laughs> but I'll show you right now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 1 is down here somewhere. So yeah, that's pretty cool. It's not super complicated. I mean, it doesn't use any comparators or stuff, so I'm pretty sure you can just pull this off on the Xbox, too. But I'm not going to be doing a tutorial on it for reasons that actually, you know, I might do a tutorial on it. I may or may not do a tutorial on it. If if people really want me to do a tutorial on it, I will. Uh, I don't think it would be very hard, but I don't know. <laughs> so uh, give me a comment or say, hey, do a tutorial on this. If you do want me to do a tutorial on this, I will. Uh, I'm Just keep in mind that I'm not the best tutorialist tutorialist t tutor whatever you want to call it and this is actually completely customizable like if i hit level 5 and i do fire aspect there's no fire there's no fire aspect 5 so it's not going to give me a book for it however if i do do fire aspect 1 this is this is uh counting that all the dispensers are full too so if you don't have the book it's not going to dispense a book because i'm not using command blocks or something and I'm keeping all these books because I don't have a command block to refill all these dispensers, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna worry about it. All right, so that was that was a pretty quick video. Uh, this is totally not stalling for the Minecraft video that I said I was gonna do later. But until then, thanks for watching, everybody. Remember, everything you know is a lie, and I will see you next time.